be watched against the setting sun. She won't exactly be short on memories. Princess Cruises. Come back new. We decided to settle this. A steel cage death match at mid-sized sedans. The Volkswagen Passat against all comers. Turbocharged engines against engines. Best in class rear legroom against other class legroom. But then we realized consumers already did that. Twice. Huh. Maybe that's why nobody else showed up. How does one get out of a death cage? Hurry in and lease the 2014 Passat for $189 a month. Visit VWDealer.com today. All right, taxpayers spend over 3.8 billion hours every year compiling income tax. You got to go through all the income tax laws. No wonder we're confused. The United States tax code is 3.7 million words long, and there are almost 2,000 different forms and publications issued by the IRS. So with tax day approaching, what are the things you need to know to avoid an IRS audit? Well, Gene Marks is a small business owner and a certified public accountant. Gene, welcome to the show. Hey, Mike, how are you? And uh, good morning from Philadelphia. We missed you. My wife and I have missed you this week. <laughs> well, I was there. I mean, why weren't you watching? I just came up last night. But anyway, Gene, tell me this. What are the red flags? <laughs> how do we avoid an audit? Uh, well, if you're a Tea Party member, you, maybe an audit's coming for you. But if you're not, <laughs> how do you avoid an audit? Well, there's actually three big, there's a lot of things that are going to throw up red flags, Mike, to, uh, to, to say that there might be an audit coming along. So let me give you three tips, uh, three of the biggest ones that are out there. Number one is if you've got a hobby, you want to be very, very careful. Like let's say you sell like jewelry on the side and say that you made maybe $2,000 from doing that, but you had 3000 excuse me, in expenses for selling it. You can't take a loss if you have a hobby. You have to be very, very careful. If a taxpayer says that I've got a hobby and they're taking a loss for it, that throws up a red flag with the IRS, it may potentially uh, bring in an audit. So be very careful if you've got any side income or, or a hobby. That's Gene, I've always one. wondered about people who are involved in cash businesses. I mean, you have right. to admit that you're making this cash, even though it's so tempting to hide it. It really is. And for a lot of small business owners, and you know that, Mike, right? Italian restaurants, pizza shops. Yeah. You know, people like to like deal in, in just cash only. And it's, and it's very tempting to tuck that money away. But don't do that because cash businesses throw a red flag to the IRS. If you're reporting on a cash basis, the IRS may scrutinize you more. And let me tell you, for the IRS to audit you and figure out how much money you're really making yeah. during the day, it's not very tough for them to do. So try not to do that. It's a okay. red flag. I've been audited twice i admit it and it was both times it was that. math mistakes and it seemed like they were yeah. mistakes i made on purpose but they weren't <laughs> yeah i mean math mistakes are some of the biggest things that, that come out i mean I, i'm a cpa but i got to admit sometimes i'm not that great at math you know so that's why i have a calculator and people check my numbers so you got to make sure that your math is right the irs checks it so whenever yeah. you put in your return, they will scan it, and they're going to do the math over. And if they're seeing math mistakes, you're going to hear from them. And if they see too many, that also raises a red right. flag with well, them as well. So well, for goodness sake, check your math. Gene, what if I do get audited? What, what's the first thing I do? You know, funny enough, first of all, um, you panic. Yes, and then I do. you calm down a little bit. And then um, you can contact the IRS. They actually have an independent board, like an organization um, that's called the, in, the, the Taxpayer Advocate Board. And uh, there's a form that you can fill out. It's called Form 911, like 911 for help. And that will get you in touch with a taxpayer advocate. They can help you walk you through the process. Yeah. Mike, believe it or not, it's not as scary as you think. A lot of times the IRS are just asking for more information. More it information. Might not be a full Always more audit. information. You don't have to panic. And I promised myself I'd have That's them right. done by the end of February, and here's March 1st. Hey, Gene, good to see you. I'll see you in <laughs> Philly. It's not in done yet. <laughs> you got see it. See you back in Philly. Take care. You got it. Coming Bye up, now. paying out, verify later. The White House giving out Obamacare subsidies for all. The latest change from the administration straight ahead. And getting breakfast in a hurry. Stick around for this. We're breaking down the best and worst first options from some of your fast food favorites. Yeah, ooh, Taco Bell. Really, 
so our business can be on AT&T's network for $175 a month. Yep, all five of you for $175. Our clients need a lot of attention. There's unlimited talk and text. We're working deals all day. You get 10 gigabytes of data to share. What about expansion potential? Out of line, anytime for 15 bucks a month. Low dues, great terms. Let's close. New AT&T Mobile Share Value Plans, our best value plans ever for business. Nice ride. Nice sunroof. Nice touch screen. Uh, nice try. Nice acceleration. Nice detonation. The new Elantra. <laughs> nice. I'm Justine Clark, and this is Heart Health Beat. Omega 3s are important for heart health, but most of us don't get enough through diet alone. So we take supplements like fish oil. But did you know that there's an alternative? It's called krill oil. Where does krill oil come from? Krill oil comes from tiny crustaceans found in the Antarctic. Krill are one of the Earth's most abundant organisms, so they are sustainable when we harvest them in an environmentally sensitive way. Dr. Mosquera, what makes krill oil